Warriors and welcome back. Now today we have something that you guys have been requesting and honestly it surprised me. Apparently a ton of you want to know how to stop going backwards and I'm glad you asked because stopping going backwards is a major pet peeve of mine. I cannot stand it when I see skaters stopping backwards dragging their toe picks into the ice. I just think it is so so ugly and it really shows that you need some better skills in that area. So let's get started. So a backward stop is just like a forward stop. If you watched my forward snowplow stop tutorial, which the link is gonna be right up here for you, then you can apply that same concept of scraping the top layer off the ice. Only instead of doing it moving forward, we're doing it moving backwards, okay? Now when you're doing it backwards, your toes are gonna to open up slightly so that your heels angle in. You're making a little bit of a V with your feet. Let's try that. So we're just gonna take a swizzle going backwards, put my feet right next to each other, hands out, and push those feet out into a little bit of a V position. Any stop you do is gonna be just scraping the very top layer off the ice. So if you're struggling with this, go back to the wall, hang onto that wall, and practice pushing and pushing and pushing over and over again until you get really confident with that stopping feeling. Okay, now for that super awesome backward stop that you see me doing so often in videos, you're just gonna apply this to one foot. It's a one foot snowplow stop, that's all I'm doing. So instead of pushing with both feet, I'm just pushing one foot back. So to do this one foot snowplow stop, you need to make sure that all your weight is lined up on the foot that's gonna be still gliding. So your head, your shoulder, your hip is all lined up over your gliding foot while the other foot pushes away from you. All right, so you want, it's almost like a letter K, okay? We have a straight line on one side and then that leg goes out away from us as we stop. You can see that when I do my stop with motion, how I'm lined up on one side and the other foot pushes out to do that stop. One more thing I should mention is this stop is using the inside edge. It's just subtle, it's not like really deep with that inside edge where your foot's gonna get stuck in the ice and you're gonna make yourself go faster, but just slightly on the inside edge so as you scrape, uh, you don't want to get your foot lean to the outside. That'll actually could injure yourself doing it that way. So just slightly on the inside edge as you stop. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Of course, if you enjoyed this one, please do give us a thumbs up. And I look forward to reading all your comments in the section down below. If you haven't done so yet, then please do hit that red subscribe button. And until next time, I have a video right here for you that I think you'll enjoy.